telling you to pop that child. Don't want to buy your stuff outside on the playground. In the early 60s, a new wave of rhythm and blues arrived in Australia with a Liverpool accent, imported in the cardboard suitcases of British migrants. Pale, skinny kids in tight suits doing strange tribal dances to a sound born in the Mississippi Delta. We were the biggest selling act in the country, you know. When the Beatles got to Australia, we had the number one record. Ladies and gentlemen, Vince Maloney. Harry Grant recommended this act to me and you love it. Robin Morris, or Maurice and Barry Gibb, added two Australian friends, Colin Peterson and Vince Maloney. Their albums became round-the-world bestsellers, as you know. Let's have a wonderfully warm... And they were compared with the Beatles right from the word go, which really was a compliment. It was definitely the pressure we needed to inspire us. When New York mining disaster appeared in the spring of 1967, it really cut through almost everything else on the radio, like just a beacon through a fog. In less than six months, the Bee Gees had gone from unknowns at the Southampton docks to having top 20 hits on both sides of the Atlantic. They were instantly plunged into the hurricane of first fame. And of their success was the emotional depth of their sound. The Bee Gees had always been fans of soul music. To see you, Vince. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. Vince Maloney. Thank you. Here's Vince.